this is it. <laughs> this is the end. Hello, my beautiful best friend. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a update of why I was in the ER. Also, leave a comment down below what my intro and outro should be for my vlog channel because I want it to be something original. Originality is key. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm not gonna apologize and say, ugh, sorry I look so ugly because honestly, that just makes me sad when people say that. Like, hey, <laughs> this is me. I'm just wearing mascara. I just moisturized the crap out of my face. <laughs> we looking shiny. We looking red because I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I'm really hot, but I don't want to take my sweatshirt off first world problems. Today's video is going to be super chill, super lax. And disclaimer, I am not making this video to say like, oh my god, like feel bad for me, but like I don't feel bad for myself at all. I owe you guys an explanation of why I was in the ER and an update on my life. And yeah, so stick with me, not trying to sound self-centered, all absorbed, like literally we good, but like yeah. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Snapchat, which you should, <laughs> I can't go on video without saying that. It's me, myself, and Mel. Two L's, not one L, two L's. I don't even know how to begin this video. You guys were asking me like crazy on Twitter. You guys, you guys are like my favorite people. Seriously, you guys were so sweet, so concerned. It means the world. I hope you guys know that. I owe you guys an explanation. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with this story time. I'm also gonna do a little update on my life and why I'm not posting tomorrow on my main channel. I've had a pretty stressful couple of weeks and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and explain it all because you guys literally, I say this all the time, you are my best friends. It's a check-in, what's up? What's up with you? Leave your check-in down below. I wanna know how you're doing. We're just gonna, just gonna get started with story time. And I've never done a story time before, so tell me if I'm bad at it or if I'm good at it. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I was at the doctor's. I said, I just got a shot I wasn't supposed to get. And it's not that I like wasn't super supposed to get it, but it was like early for me to get it, you know? Like I should have waited. I think it was when you go to college and I'm 17, but I think you're supposed to wait till like 18 or for me it would be 19 when I leave to go to college because I'm old for my grade. <laughs> Whatever. But it was the men menjacockle shot. I could completely be saying that wrong. But anyways, it, I don't know really what it's for. The doctor says you need it, so you get it. But I got that shot. Then my mom called because I was with my dad and she's like, why did Mel get that shot? She wasn't supposed to get it, blah, blah. And I was like, didn't really matter. It's getting really hot. And I also got a flu shot that day. I also got three blood to be things taken from my body because my dad wanted to make sure since I am vegan and I've been vegan for like almost four months, A, that I'm getting all the vitamins and all the nutrients I need to be healthy. So they took three tubes of blood, which was super... So I was completely fine after that. I was just chilling, doing my thing. I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently. I've never really talked about this. I'm about to take this off. Just wear my Calvins. <laughs> Why am I so Hot. I literally look like a tomato. I'm gonna take this sweatshirt off. BRB. <laughs> we back. I don't know why I'm whispering. This room echoes a lot. Continuing with the story. I went home. Everything was good. Felt fine. And then at like 8 o'clock, I was like, I don't feel that well. I'm gonna take a bath. So I took a bath. That, that's like not needed for the story at all. And then I was brushing my teeth and I felt really lightheaded and really like... Ugh. I like went in my room and I remember sitting in this chair or in my in my other chair I just like spaced out while I was brushing my teeth and I like Ugh. I don't I don't know It was a really weird bad feeling. I like felt like I couldn't move my arm for a little bit I was just like this is weird. What's going on? I'm just gonna go to bed I'm just gonna go to bed. I finished getting ready for bed at this point I'm like losing my mind like I don't know what's going on I to lay down and I start like crying I'm not aware of anything like I feel like I feel like someone else was in my body And I know that sounds so weird, but like I really felt like I was not in control of what I was doing what I was thinking what I was feeling like God, I felt so weak and I was just laying on my bed and I was saying help 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 but no one heard me because I wasn't loud enough and I was like oh my god I was like what is going on and I thought it might have just been like a really big anxiety attack because I've been having bad anxiety recently due to like stress in school and I've just had like a lot on my plate so I thought it might have been just like a really bad anxiety attack and I was like you know I'm gonna like fight this I'm gonna I was trying so hard to like not feel like this I was like Mel snap yourself out of it like you're fine like I couldn't like no matter what I did I just could not snap myself out of this weird feeling I honestly felt so spacey I, could I don't even know how to explain it like it was by far the scariest feeling I've ever had in my life and then I managed to get myself out of my bed and crawl and I was like in our little hallway thing. But I just started bawling my eyes out. I don't know why, I just started crying. I didn't even say help, like I couldn't. I just started crying and crying, like hysterically crying. This is gonna sound gross, but I had like water coming out everywhere, like my nose, like I was just like a mess. And my parents were like, Mel, what's wrong? Like, did you fall? Did you hurt yourself, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't talk and I was just in this ball, like, 
cuddle up in this ball and I was just crying and I was crying and I couldn't I wasn't aware of reality when I would hear my parents talk it would be like like I would hear it but I couldn't respond and I couldn't like move my body like it almost felt like I was unconscious or like in a coma they did all these tests on me like they were taking my blood pressure they were like taking my oxygen levels everything was fine I just couldn't move I was just like a zombie I was just like this my parents got so scared which I probably felt the worst about because like my parents are like two of my favorite people in the whole universe I would never want to scare them like this I was trying so hard to snap out of it and I couldn't Oof. and I just remember my mom holding me and Mel open your eyes Mel open your eyes and I was just like I tried so hard that felt like really creepy my eyes were like crossed like when I opened my eyes I just saw a ton of her I was just like so like I don't even know almost like I got drugged but I didn't don't worry like my mom even was like did you drink anything like that someone gave you like blah blah, blah. I was like like no that's how I was talking I was like no. Which <laughs> sounds so weird. Like, I couldn't get the words out of my throat. Like, I couldn't. So I was just, like, trying, and I was, like, hyperventilating, too. That started a little earlier. I was just, like, <laughs> and I, like, couldn't stop that, and then I just felt really dizzy. And, oh, God, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm sorry. This is probably, like, a really ranty, weird video. Anywho, my parents got to the point where, like, okay, we need to take you to the ER. Like, this is getting so scary and so serious. And I was, like, no, just put me to bed. Like, I'm okay. And, like, no, Mal. No, I don't want to cause any harm. Like, any trouble I'm good nope obviously I wasn't good my parents then literally had to carry me down the stairs because I couldn't move my mom was like Mel move your hands and I was like eh. they carried me to the car put me in the car we drove to the emergency room and the entire time I was laying there saying I'm not I couldn't like I couldn't talk laying there thinking this is it <laughs> This is the end and I honestly thought I was dying. I'm not even joking. That sounds so extreme Like I'm so blessed. I don't mean to sound like I don't know overreactive But I honestly thought for a little bit that I was gonna die because I've never ever experienced anything like this in my whole entire life Ever I have never had medical issues like this and I was like Dad, phone like I need my phone and he's like Mel you didn't bring your phone Good job Mel. I didn't even know where it was. I was so unaware of what was going on Like I would open my eyes and look at the street and everything would just be like Oh my god, it was weird. And then I told my dad like I needed to text my friends and tell them that I love them because I thought I was dying and like tweet to you guys. Like I was about to literally just like make it sound like to everyone that I love that I was about to die. Like bye. I was also thinking a lot, but like not thinking. Like it was weird. And I get to the hospital, and they carry me out of the car, put me in a wheelchair. This girl comes up to me and she's like, Open your eyes. I was like, ah. What's your name? And I'm just like I'm literally in the chair like this. I'm honestly just trying to laugh about this, but it was honestly the scariest thing I've ever dealt with in my whole life. I mean, about me. Not about like other people, but like about me because I've, I don't know, I've never felt like that before. But anyways, they got me into a room. They, oh, this is the fun part. They took a ton of tests or whatever. I was laying in the bed. Then they were like, oh, we're going to give you an IV, like a saline drip. Like they give people to like wake them up, whatever, make them feel better. I don't really know what saline is, gonna be honest. She poked me once here. Didn't get uh, anything, like a reading. Not a, not a reading. She didn't get any like blood being drawn so she poked again and guys it hurt like if you ever get an IV I'm sorry and then she finally poked me third and last time right here I'm a little bruised because I'm I bruise like a B word <laughs> like I bruise so easily I don't know why and then she took like some blood like some more blood they ran some tests and I wanted to go home I was like I just need to go home and go to bed and like no <laughs> like girl you're staying it was probably for the best we were probably there for like an hour or two this time on my story I posted a photo of my IV and it was like 12 25 a.m. and we were probably there to like 1 30 or something my dad went to the vending machine got me some trail mix and i also wasn't dehydrated like i want you guys to know that that's what my parents thought at first but they know how much water i drink so like okay it can't be this because like i i drink so much water my dad was almost like do you think she drank too much water like and then i'm just waiting there she's giving me the ivm starting to feel a little better and i had like nothing to do because i didn't have my phone they come back in i don't know 1 30 i even asked my dad i was like can we go home and he was like yeah so people and they're like nah sorry and i was like it's okay I got you I feel you so then they came out with the results and they were like your blood tests are like perfect everything was fine they're like very healthy like great and I was like oh that's awesome like good to know I'm healthy they were like we think it was a reaction to that shot you had earlier because that happens to some people so then they just sent me home and I was still like a little spacey but I was much better that was two days ago and then yesterday I felt still pretty spacey like not super spacey but like I couldn't work like I just had to watch TV and online shop I know the struggle <laughs> no but seriously I tried to do homework and I just could not focus and I, I don't know I'm filming this video to let you guys know that's that is why there's not gonna be a video on my main channel tomorrow because I was planning to film on Thursday I had all these ideas and all and I was so ready today's Friday 
yeah and it happened on wednesday night so thursday i was just like a zombie and i was like all right i don't want to like half-ass a video and give it to you guys like i want it to be my best work because i'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my videos so i was like no not happening so i'm sorry it'll be worth the wait at least i get to give you this little update video i've just been so so stressed because online school i think so much better for me and for youtube and for everything but it's still stressful and when i went to canada i got really behind i was like way behind on assignments and then i got behind yesterday with not being able to do any work <sighs> i don't know the past couple of weeks like i've been doing a lot for youtube that i can't tell you guys yet but it's happening soon i'm coming out with some things for you guys that will look bad focusing hard on stuff like that i just haven't had enough time to actually film a video and i didn't want to half-ass a video when i felt like this because i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not feeling emotionally my 100% um or physically because that just took so much out of me for some reason I'm kind of in shock and then it kind of hit me today like wow i would never had anything like that happen and i was honestly like preparing myself to die i was like if i were to do anything different in life what would it be like i was like mel you need to chill just in case you never know <laughs> like your tweets meant so much to me like i love you guys so freaking much you don't even know i was literally when i was thinking i should have gone on tour sooner so i could have met all you guys and i was like uh, i'm not gonna get into that i'm not gonna like because i don't feel bad for myself or whatever like this was just a little thing that people go through people go through things like this like no i'm gonna be honest i was really i was wigged out i was very scared i am someone that tends to kind of push things aside and i think i was pushing this aside but today when i was like doing some work it kind of hit me i was like wow like that was a scary experience like I'd never had anything like that happen to me. I just wanted to share this with you guys, especially because so many of you guys were asking for this video. Um, and I definitely owe it to you guys. But like, I'm better now. So thank you guys for asking. Like, I'm not 100% sure what caused this whole thing. We think it's the shot, but I also think it was like the shot on top of everything that was going on that day, plus my anxiety. I think it was like too much and my body was just like, hey, no, we're done. <laughs> like, you gotta chill. That was its mechanism of dealing with that. I don't know don't know but i love you guys and i'm very grateful for my life and blessed and yeah that was that was the video if this has happened to you comment down below i'd love to know because like am i alone um i'll also be responding to a lot of the comments on this video probably for like days after just because i want to talk to you guys i miss you guys i want to start using my vlog channel more just for rants just for anything because like I feel like it'll help me get closer to you guys and you guys are my best friends so you know also comment down below <laughs> any videos you would want to see on this channel I love you guys to infinity and beyond and I mean it like 100% <laughs> I mean it when I say it I hope you guys are having I don't want to see the same outro for my vlog channel it should be different <laughs> but thank you for watching this video to the end if you did you're a real one comment down below a real one if you're watching this and you made it this far it's like a real one because you're a real one <laughs> I hope you're doing well and I hope you're healthy and and safe and everything like that. Mwah.